This is a tutorial on using the Pyramid Model Early Intervention Benchmarks of Quality. When you open up the file, you will see that you have a couple of tabs at the bottom. The first tab that you have is the Instruction tab. This tab has my contact information in case you run into any issues, and it also has the link for this tutorial. You also have some brief instructions on data entry. The next tab is the Program Summary tab. Program Summary tab gives you an overview of the data that you have already entered. It shows you how many indicators are in place, partially in place, and in place for each date of, for which the benchmarks were completed. It shows you that in a graph and also in a table. Below that, you also have by administration date, which of the how many indicators within each critical element are not in place, partially in place, and in place. So here what you'll see is that for leadership team you have four of the indicators that are not in place. And so then to the right of that it shows you the number indicator that is not in place. So then you'll be able to see that three, four, five, and six are not in place. And the same is true for all the other critical elements. So you'll see for providing interventions to children with persistent challenging behavior, two indicators are not in place. Three of them are partially in place. And so you'll see that the ones that are not in place are 19 and 20. And so for each one um, of the dates for which you complete the BOQs, you'll have this. So this is for the 8th, this is for May 9th, and this is for uh, November. This is for November. So you'll see that it only highlights red for the ones that are not in place and then it just shows you, you know, how many are partially or in place. So you'll see that down here on the most recent uh, BOQs you'll see that there everything was either partially in place or in place. So you'll see that nothing is highlighted red and there's nothing here. So this is just a summary from what you've already entered. Your data entry is on the red tab. And so on this tab, the first thing that you'll do is you'll type in your program name, the location, and then the team members who completed the benchmarks. The next thing that you'll do is you'll enter the date. And so this is the date that the benchmarks were completed. And then you'll enter your rating of 0, 1, or 2. So you'll do that. Um, all the way down a column. So each column is for one date. So once you've entered all of your data there, then you can go to your graph tab. And here in your graph tab, you don't need to type this information in at the top. This carries over from what you typed in your data entry. So you don't need to do anything here. That should automatically show up. The only thing that you need to do here is refresh. So this is really important. There's a note here that reminds you that you need to refresh your data. And so the way that you do this is you click on your chart. You'll see a new tab shows up at the top. Go to Analyze, Refresh, Refresh All. So you'll want to make sure that you do this. So if you've entered data and you don't see anything here, it's because you haven't refreshed. So you have to make sure that you refresh every time that you enter data. So once you're done entering data, go ahead and refresh. So you'll have your um, data points here. And then you also have this little filter where you can look at dates. So if you wanted to just look at one date, so the most recent date, then you might uh, click on that and it'll show you. If you only want to look at two dates, then you um, can click on this here and then that allows you to select dates and deselect dates. And that's this here, the little uh, multi-select. If you don't do that, you can also click on a date and then hold down your shift key and then click on the other date that you want to see. So there's um, two different ways to do that. Using the multi-select, where you click and then you click, or the um, clicking and then holding down your shift key and clicking on other dates. Below that, you also have a table. That's just a summary. So across the different dates, it gives you the um, average scores, and then it tells you the number of um, indicators that are not in place, partially in place, and in place for that date. 
so those those are the tabs and what you can do with each one um, you can move the tabs if you wanted to so the program summary if you wanted to you can just click on the program t summary where it says program summary hold down your um, your mouse to the left and you can move that over to wherever you want that to be so that is just an option if that's something that you want to do you don't need to refresh on this program summary tab the program summary tab does update automatically the only one where you need to refresh is on this graph tab if you have any questions my contact information is on the instruction tab you can send me an email and I will be happy to help